there have been playgrounds measured with temperatures that give kids three to third degree burns, um, schools that are too hot for um, young people's brains to function in. Hi, um, my name is Lisa Stefanoff. I'm a senior research officer at the Menzies School of Health Research here in Alice Springs. So Air and Alice is a project about um, the impacts of heat and air quality on people in Alice Springs. It's a citizen climate science project which is where um, people in a community assist scientists um, by going out and doing some of the data collection alongside them. Some people may choose to wear a small sort of teardrop shaped uh, little heat sensor that um, sometimes hikers put on the back of their backpacks. It gives us um, temperature, humidity, um, wind, speed, altitude and other um, variables. So this is called an Atmo tube and it's a small um, personal air quality monitoring device that we've chosen to use in this study. You can clip it onto um, a bag strap or a belt. If you press this button here, it gives you an immediate measure of the air quality of where you are. So like a sort of traffic light system. We also have some really exciting little infrared cameras which clip onto the bottom of smartphones and they allow us to photograph heat um, so people could go around uh, Alice Springs and photograph um, the hot spots, maybe also the cool spots, um, and and those photographs give us a, a temperature reading um, in the image. We also have the opportunity to participate in an ingestible heat sensor part of the study, which is a small capsule that people would swallow um, under the supervision of a thermal heat um, specialist doctor and uh, that will measure their core temperature. But alongside this citizen, citizen data collection, we have pairs of sensors um, that are going up around town. We have a web page on the Menzies, um, the main Menzies website. Do a search for Air in Alice. You'll come to our web page. You'll see one of these infrared photographs there. It's very bright. And you can just click to um, fill out an expression of interest form and that'll eventually come back to me and I'll be in touch with people.